Captain Lovey Ajayi Jones. In her latest book, the speaker, podcaster, and digital strategist is tackling fear. How do we overcome it? to do the things we want to do at work and in our personal lives. It's called Professional Troublemaker, the Fear Fighter Manual. And she joins us live. Thanks for being with good us morning. again. Hi, always good to be with you. So great. I, I love this idea that fear is such a big thing that stops people, but you say it's not so much fear of failure, it's actual fear of success a lot of times. Yes, because what happens if it actually does go well? Can we handle the structures around it? We are afraid of a lot of things, success, rejection, disappointment, and failure. And so, how do you overcome that? You just got to know that the fear is not going to stop. Like, it's yeah. going to stay there. But what you have to do is move forward. Because for you to have courage, you actually need fear first. Oh. So you just got to know you're going to do it scared. And so how does Troublemaker fit into that? Because that does not sound like a positive. It sounds like a negative, especially if you're, in a, you're not the boss and you're in a workplace where you have to answer to other yeah. people. Yeah, troublemaking is, is actually a good thing. I think about the late, great John Lewis, who said we have to be ready to make necessary good trouble. And that usually means you're disrupting what's happening that's not OK. And that's going to have to do with something that's scary to you, like speaking up in a room with all your colleagues and they're talking about a campaign that you're like, ooh, that's not going to go well. So having the courage to say, hey, let's rethink this and make sure it goes well. I think making trouble is necessary in this world. Good trouble. And you also talk about women needing to step up. And is it be more like a man how men will not be afraid or feel guilty about asking for a raise or doing that? Is it Or hurting your feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Or hurting your feelings. Yeah. You know, it's not about women being more like men. It's about us getting the permission mm. to ask for the things we need. We've never, we're never told to negotiate our, our salaries that we're offered. We're never told that it's okay to want more money. For us, we're told we need to be of service. You know, we need to be wanting to just give away everything. But how can we live in this world that requires money for us to be whole if we're not asking for more? So I want to give us permission. And I want this book to loan us courage in those moments when we're asked to do something that feels too big or we want to ask for the raise and we're afraid of it. So in the equation of being a troublemaker, I would imagine there is a time to speak up and a time to keep your mouth shut. How do you know which time is the right time to do each one of those things? Ooh, good question. So whenever I'm wondering whether I should speak up in the moment, I ask myself three questions. And if the answer is yes to all three, I speak up. So those three questions is, do I mean it? Can I defend it? Can I say thoughtfully? If the answer is yes to all three, I say it. Oftentimes, I will ask myself, will I also be proud of my silence? If the answer is no to that, I'm going to say something. And I think it's really important for people to use the rooms that we're in. We're, that's our platform. It's not necessarily social media. The room that you're sitting in, the table that you're sitting in, is where you can actually let your voice be heard. So ask a thoughtful question. Well, well, Push me, back I, in a thoughtful way. That's what I want to touch on. And this would apply to social media as well. How do you, so that's a skill for some people to say it in a thoughtful way. What do you give me an example of, of a thoughtful way versus a non thoughtful way? You know, a thoughtful way is to be asking the question is actually one of the best things you can do because asking a question is not telling somebody to do something, but you're asking them to think through something even more. Mm -hmm. So if there's something you don't love and you're just like, hmm, I definitely want to challenge it. Honestly, asking a question is the shortcut to making yeah. it seem thoughtful. Hey, have you? thought about that a little bit more. Mm. Hey, is that actually going to make somebody else feel hurt? Those are ways to do it in way so it won't feel like, ah, I'm going right. to tell somebody what to do with themselves. Right. Very true. All right. Lovey Ajayi Jones, great to talk to you again. The book is called Professional Troublemaker, and you can go to professionaltroublemakerbook.com to see her on a virtual book tour. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me.